Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is Better Mornings Atlanta. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to the brand new CBS 46 studio. Our new set comes complete with all the bells and whistles, and we want to show it off this morning because we are so proud of everything. Yeah, take a look at this. Those are my new digs. That is the brand new CBS 46 Weather Center. I've got all the bells and whistles, Jennifer, all you are my spoiled. gadgets. I've got everything <laughs> at my fingertips. She's being spoiled and we like it. Plus, take a look. Here's Frank Wiley and Michelle Berto. <laughs> look at those smiling faces on the brand new set. That's where they give you all the day's <laughs> top stories. Looking good, guys. Yeah, and the set doesn't end there as we keep going around the room. We've got more areas for all our anchors and reporters. You'll see Anna Lee Penny in this area in the morning. Telling us how we can yeah, save saving us some money. Some money. We like that. That's why she is a hot topic always in the morning. Plus, check out this. This is Jennifer, you and I's favorite spot. Look at that. the studio, our brand new kitchen. In fact, that is a chef from BLT Steak. He's here to help us break it in. He's whipping up some Oscar bites, by the way, this morning. Tasty little bites that we can all enjoy with our friends right ahead of watching the Academy Awards it's this Sunday. I Hi, Chef. It. Hi, Chef. Yeah, and we finally have a kitchen, which we did not have in our old studio. It really works, right? So we've got, yeah, it's the real deal. Works. It's the real deal. So, <laughs> Chef, you are the first one to cook in that kitchen. I want to hear exactly how it is for you. Is that a so. little tuna tartare? Oh, he says it is. Very good. Thank you, Chef. Can't wait to uh, take a taste. Jen, I think you get to go over and do that, too. Yeah. All right, now to the other stories of the day. General Motors doubling its recall due to an ignition problem, which may be to blame for deadly crashes. We're going to tell you which models are affected this morning. And a family speaks out after filing a lawsuit because the deck right there collapsed. Oh, no. What they say every family needs to know about deck safety. Plus, we're going to head down to Florida to check in with the Atlanta Braves as they gear up for their first spring training game, which is tonight. So what would you do if a snake was chasing you? It's an online prank that's gone viral. We're going to show you the incredible reaction ah! and yes, funny reaction as well from some unsuspecting pedestrians. But first, Jen, let's get right to the weather, good or bad? Uh, bad. <laughs> We're not seeing any severe weather. We're not seeing any storms, but this isn't what I like to see. And when I tell you about temperatures, it's not what you want to see either. Outside right now, we've got rain south of I-20, some showers east of the city as well. This is mainly light rain, windshield wipers on low, but certainly enough to get your hair wet and give you a bad hair day. And that dog that doesn't like to go out in the rain, he's going to have some problems too because we've got those light showers. Luckily, we are dry right now in the city, so that's helping the rush hour commute across downtown Atlanta. But everywhere east and south of the city, you are seeing some rain. So dry in Atlanta right now, but it is breezy and cloudy right now. 37 degrees winds from the north northwest at 10 miles an hour and we're going to see those winds pick up big time. In fact, we're going to see winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour as we head into the afternoon. On top of that, it's going to stay cold. We're in the mid 30s right now, but we're actually going to warm up to the mid 40s. That is it this afternoon with those winds. The wind chill is going to feel like the 20s to 30s with even colder temperatures tonight. 34 by 8 p.m. and it's going to keep on going down after that. I'll let you know how cold it's going to get in just a few minutes. Jen, thanks a lot. Now to some serious news this morning. General Motors has nearly doubled the number of cars it's recalling due to issues with ignition switches. The problem is being linked to deadly crashes and some consumers saying that the company has known about the problem now for years. Bagat Shabad reports. General Motors is recalling more than 1.5